All right, welcome back, guys. So it's that time of the season where I feel comfortable now. The weather is starting to break. My forecast ahead is looking very, very good. So I feel comfortable going ahead and overseeding and doing a little spot fixing in the yard. But I wanna show you guys how to spot fix, what tool every DIY lawn care person should own in their tool shed. This tool definitely comes in handy. So I wanna go ahead and show you guys how it's done. So no more talking, meet me over at the spot. We can get a job done. So let's go. All right, you guys. So these are a few items that I use when I do spot fixing. A little bit of peat moss, the orange five gallon Home Depot bucket, got my seeds in them and some gloves here. And then most importantly, I'm gonna use this tool right here. This bad boy, this is the garden weasel. This tool, every DIY lawn care person should own. This will help you big time with weak spots in the lawn. If you wanna break up a little area, throw some seed down, roll it in. This is going to help. These metal tines, you can actually go ahead and adjust them. There's three little adjustments here. You can take off two, three, if you've got little tight corners that you want to get into. But this tool right here, I've been using for about four seasons. And I love this tool. It's very, very durable and it comes in handy. Now, I know a lot of people used to use the rake method, but this one to me, it's a lot easier because all you're going to do is just roll it back and forth. Anybody can use it, male or female and it makes the job very, very easy and simple because you break up the yard, break up the soil, throw some seed down, roll it right in, boom, you're all set to go. So this is one of my favorite tools and this is why I said you guys should own this tool into your, in your, uh, in your little repertoire. If you got a little shed or something, throw this tool right in there. You can find it anywhere, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, Ace Hardware, anywhere. Anywhere like a hardware store, they should have what you call a garden weasel. And it comes in many different colors, many different styles. I got this one from Walmart. Very simple and they're fairly priced, about 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks. Um, I had it for about four seasons, like I said, and I love this tool. It comes in handy. So this area is the area that we're gonna be fixing. If you guys been with me for a while, you know that this back wall here, this line, this whole thing, never comes back in after spring i mean after winter so i have to do a little bit of spring overseeding and spring fixing so that's what i'm gonna do today I'm gonna break the soil up with the garden weasel roll my seeds in and i'm gonna cover it with peat moss now i know a lot of you guys they say don't use peat moss but i like peat moss because it's like a soil amendment it helps add organic matter into the soil plus it covers the seed and act as a, a basically a water retainer it's gonna retain water, moisture, so you don't have to water as much to keep the seed moist. And right now, since it's springtime, we're gonna have cooler days. So the seeds should stay moist with the peat moss covering over top of it, helping it out. And also the peat moss is gonna act like a covering agent so birds don't feed on the seeds because when they see seeds down on the lawn, they will eat them and you'll end up with patchy areas after overseeding anyway. So that's why I like peat moss, but you don't have to add the peat moss. A lot of people don't, but that's why I like peat moss. So let's get to work. Let's get this job done and we wrap this up and get you guys out of here. So stay tuned. All right, so step number one, you're gonna make sure you got a clear area. Now, you guys that like to use the rake, you can definitely use this rake right here, this little fine time rake. You're gonna make sure when you're prepping your area, you get all kind of debris, anything that's gonna hinder the seeds from getting down in the soil and germinating. So that means like rocks, big rocks, twigs, sticks, any leaves, leftover leaves, anything of that nature. Even dead grass, if you got dead matted grass down, you're gonna make sure you just kind of take it and you see how some of this dead grass is coming up, just remove it from the area that you wanna see and you'll be all set. That's why I like this little, the little fine time rake. But like I said, that garden weasel will definitely do the job. You just wanna remove some of the debris right there. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, put the gloves on. You don't have to put the gloves on right now only time you really need the gloves is when you're going to throw down some peat moss because it will get a little nasty. So I'm going to go ahead and do this now. Let me get the garden weasel so I can show you guys how to break up the soil. Now, basically, you're going to take this and just roll it. You can break your soil up right now. But see that 
my soil is already exposed, I don't even have to do that. I can go right ahead, start throwing some seed down right now. Make sure you get enough down. Don't over, don't overdo it, but don't underdo it also. But you're gonna make sure you get enough. Now for the seed, I am using Turf Type Tall Fescue from Greenview. This is the seed that I've been using for years in the yard. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you've seen a nice dark green color and the nice thick bladed grass. This is Turf Type Tall Fescue by Greenview. Now, this little area is done right here. So now, I'm just gonna take it and just roll it in. Like I said, it doesn't take much arm power. Anyone can do this. Even if you teach your child how to go out and spot seed the yard, if you want some help, you can have your child roll the grass, roll the soil also, and boom. You're just gonna work it into the soil. Very, very simple. Anybody can do it. Make sure you roll it in real nice. And now that it's rolled in, all you gotta do is take your foot, tap it down. And as you can see, the seed is rolled in. Now, you're all set. Now, if you want to, take some peat moss. You don't need much, like I said, just enough to cover it. Basically keep it so the uh, moisture will stay in and keep the birds away. The birds don't see the seed so you're in good shape. You don't have to spread it on too, too thick. About maybe like a quarter of an inch. And then also with the peat moss now, if you guys can see it, now you can see where you overseeded at. It's covered up. You can come out, you can water it in, or you can wait for mother nature to come and start watering process. And basically, this is all set. And if you want to, you can use your foot, pat down the peat moss also if you want to. It's not really necessary because once the water hit, the peat moss will settle in. But if it makes you feel better, you can take your foot lightly tap on it so as you guys can see the process was that simple it took me about two minutes to break up this little area throw down some seeds roll it into the soil with the garden weasel that's why i say everyone should own one of those little tools it definitely comes in handy when you're trying to patch fix you can walk around your yard see some weak areas break the soil up throw some seed down cover it up now you can use the peat moss like i did like I showed you guys, the peat moss is like a covering agent. It helps out and it lets you know where you did a little patch fix in that. So that's why I like to use it, but you guys don't have to use the peat moss. But all you gotta do now is water for the next three weeks. You can fertilize in the next two weeks to make sure it's coming in and feeding properly and you'll be all set. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Please hit it with a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to keep up with the process and the outcome of this little patch fixing that I'm going to be doing. And, and just subscribe to the channel if you want to stay in tune with the process and watch me all season long. So I hope you guys enjoy. Take care. Get out in the yards and get them yards together. So thank you very much. Stay tuned.